All right, here is the steering box. One of two different steering gears that a Hayward Navigator pool vacuum will have. This is the most common one that will have to be switched out or kind of worked through if you're showing up to your pool and the Hayward Navigator hose is all braided up. It's generally a problem with this. Very rarely do you have to actually fix the upper steering gear, the larger steering gear of the two. All right, so one of the ways that you can test it is there's two holes and if you take the smaller port and blow into it, you can hear air, wind passing through it, but you don't hear any gears actually turning. And usually it'll whistle a little bit while you can hear the gears turning. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to pull this apart and get rid of the obstruction. So you loosen the top cover. Sometimes it takes a little bit of tweaking. And this is what it looks like here. And you just move them, set them down one at a time. You can't really pull it, put them out in the wrong order, but you can sure put them back in the wrong order. All right, so you want to make sure that you put them in a straight line so that you don't mess up that order. Okay. Now, there was a piece of hair that was going through these two gears and I took that out and now we're going to put everything back together again. Okay, by the way, this is what it will sound like when you put everything back together again. So you can hear that gear turning in there. All right, so you got the gear on the right, which means you're going to go down on the left here. Make sure those gears click into shape nice and good. Otherwise, it will bind up on you. There we go. Okay, so that's good. The next one goes on to the right. Then your left one, so on and so forth. And when you get the last one, make sure that your gears are dropping in nice and good. You don't want to leave it like that right so get that all squared away you can't really see it all too good but now the gears are back in there you can see that they're making contact they're not sitting on top of each other okay and then you can put the box back in here all right and then you can pull this right back up and give it a good test don't blow too hard through it So that little whistling sound, that's the sound of all the gears turning inside. And that means that you're good to go to put everything back together again. And a lot of times the guys will ask me, hey, what the heck does that red piece do? It just kind of looks like it's broken. And I, I sit down with them and I say, yeah, I've actually got no idea what that thing does. So if there's anybody out there, that knows boy i'd sure love to learn something from you and uh anyway there it is okay well i hope that helped all the